All right, um, let's say an individual A, individual A was recently diagnosed of diabetes mellitus, type 2 diabetes mellitus. She was at work. She was doing her normal regular schedule work, everything. So at 2 p.m. is when she normally takes her oral, um, oral medications for the diabetes. And normally at 2 p.m., when she takes it, she makes sure she eats um, and very well. So when it was like, let's say, 1.45, the boss came and added some workload to her work and said, okay, she has to finish it before she leaves the office. So she took her medication by 2. Yeah, she took her medication by the time I was like, okay, she would just finish up the work and go and eat. But unfortunately, the workload was too much. She could not finish on time. All of a sudden, she started showing signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. The big question is, what are the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia? How will you know that a colleague, a friend is going down with hypoglycemia? And what are you expected to do at that particular moment? Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia and what you should do when you are going down with hypoglycemia or a friend or a colleague is going down with hypoglycemia. But before we go into the taste, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please Click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, I am saying thank you. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with us the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. What is hypoglycemia? See, we don't have to crack our heads too much. From the word hypo, whenever you hear hypo, hypo simply means low. Hyper simply means high, hypertensive, high, hypotensive, low. So you understand, whenever you hear hyper, it's talking about high, and whenever you hear hypo, it's talking about low. So hypoglycemia, glycemia is talking about glucose in the body. So hypoglycemia simply means there's low glucose in the blood. There's, well, there's low glucose in the blood, there's low glucose in, in circulation. Like the scenario I gave about individual A, um, she, she, I said that she is showing the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. That's low sugar, low glucose in the body. So you may want to ask, what are the signs and symptoms? The first that is very, very obvious, like I've seen in clinical settings, is this person will start sweating. You start seeing this sense, so like the person will be feeling dizzy, like... You want to stand up, you'll be feeling dizzy. There, he does, there's blood vision. The person will be sweating. There's blood vision. There's dizziness at that moment. And sometimes this person will be having headache. Those are the four common signs I've really, really noticed in people in the hospital settings with hypoglycemia. You see them, they are what? They're having headache. They are feeling dizzy. They are feeling dizzy, they are sweating, they are sweating because of the low sugar level, they are having chills, um, they are having blood vision at that particular moment. Let me tell you the reason why they are having dizziness, they are having disorientation, they can be confused at that particular moment. You see this brain, this brain that we have, the brain needs a lot of glucose to function. The brain needs a lot of glucose to function. So if your brain is not getting enough glucose, I bet you, you are going to be confused. That is why most times when you are losing it, you have worked hard, your brain has been busy, you have been studying, you have been reading, and all of a sudden, you cannot even comprehend anything. It's because there's no glucose. Your, your, your glucose in the body has been utilized by your brain. What I'm trying to tell you, you know, is that the brain makes use of glucose. So anything that makes the glucose in your body goes down to the extent that me as a nurse now tell you that you have hypoglycemia. It simply means that your brain is not getting enough glucose. Understand? And your brain is not getting enough glucose. It can lead to confusion. It can lead to dizziness because your brain cannot function without glucose. So I don't want to miss out the common signs and symptoms of hypertension. Let me give you, let me just list it out. We have dizziness. We have sweating. We have a um, feeling weak. We have headache. We have blood vision. We have uh, palpitations and we have turning. 
pale. This person will not be looking pale, no longer healthy, no longer active. This person will not be feeling weak. And also, there will be excessive hunger. This person will want to eat. This person will be sweating too. So these are the common signs and symptoms of hypertension. So in such a situation, if you know this person is diabetic or something, you can check the person's sugar level. It is very quick, quick. It's very quick for you to do. You can check the sugar level and know if the person's sugar level is less than four millimeter. So you have to check. When you know the sugar level is low, immediately you notice that you give um, um, a drink that has a um, glucose in it. In Nigeria, what we do in the hospital, patients with diabetes they usually have coke by their side in case they take their medication and they are going hypotent, they are going hypo, uh, hypoglyc, they are having hypoglycemia. You give them coke to drink so that it helps to quickly boost, bring up their sugar level to prevent confusion, to prevent them from having headache and blood vision. And also, that um, energy drink, that um, drink rich in glucose, serves it all. Or if there is no coke around, you can dissolve some sugar in water for this person to drink to help bring back that glucose as soon as possible. My advice to all individuals having diabetes mellitus, especially type 2 or any diabetes mellitus, always make sure that while you're taking your medication there should be food available don't take your medication when there is no food available please and please take your medication take food alongside because when you take your medication your when you take your medication now your um, glucose might go down and there is no food to help to balance it so make sure you take your medication and take your food it is very very important please and please if you know you don't have food by your side don't take your medication like the individual Eli gave you she's not supposed to take that medication when she knows that okay she's not going to eat in the next 30 minutes the next 20 minutes she's not going to see any food because of her workload so make sure you're having food and make sure that you're having your medication adhere strictly to your medication intake and adhere strictly to your food intake to avoid complications because hypertension if not treated can lead to death this is nothing we should joke about it can be very very fatal so i don't want anybody to die so please take your medication and also eat because food is life thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers i am saying thank you very very much like i will always say if you are a student nurse and you are not part of our classes on telegram you are missing a lot all you have to do is to send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen to have access to all our classes we have classes on the various system cardiovascular respiratory all the systems you can think about we also have classes for community health research pharmacology and nursing and all those things you find difficult so when you pay you have access to all the voice notes and you just keep studying and also there's a group where you can drop your questions and we'll also provide answers for you thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead bye see you in class